I met Peaches and Winky in 1999. Everything that Peaches does always reflect back to Coppin State University because Peaches is Coppin State University. She just puts in a lot of physical work in the things that she does for Coppin State University. And some of us half her age can't even do one-tenth of the things that she does physically for the university, as well as financially. I came to Coppin in 1954, graduated in 1958. I won a scholarship, $200, which paid for four years at Coppin. Even when we didn't meet at Coppin, we had an alumni association. Since she's been here, I've been here too. She has been key to sharing history, and knowledge about things that are important to the university, but also to our alumni. People feel very inspired by her story. I mean, I walk on the campus now, I feel like a queen of Sheba. Somebody can say, hi, Miss Peaches, hi, Miss Peaches. Everybody knows Miss Peaches. And uh, the other day we were someplace and the man came up to me and the lady said, uh, do you know Miss Peaches? He said, no. I said, where you been all your life, on the rock or something? So I said, everybody doesn't know me, but those that do know me, they don't forget. She truly does lead with service, and it's part of who she is, serving, supporting people, being there, just providing information, resources. That's who she is and what she does. Somebody helped me along the way. And if there's any way that I could help anybody go to college, I really wanted to do that because Somebody helped me, and look what happened. I'm here. Some people I never met are now still saying to me what your husband, Winky, did for me. And because of that, I cannot stop giving. That fact that she has used her time and given her time to a place that made her into who she is. One of her favorite quotes talks about service. The love you give to others comes back to you. So I always say, do what you can when you can, why you can, because you can. Before the Fanny Jackson Cobbin came, we know we are eagles and we know we fly, but we got the name of Fanny and we need to do something for it. And so when Dr. Jenkins came and he said that he wanted a statue, I was really excited about that. But my husband was more excited because that day he jumped up and said, I'm giving $10,000. And I said, what? He said, well, you always wonder, wonder, there's our chance to get a statue. But he was the first one supporting Dr. Jenkins with the statue of his now here at Coppin State. I've done everything that is expected to keep the name of Coppin State, now University alive. I guess that's why they selected me because I, I have given more than 10 years, I've given 65 years. <laughs> and um, as long as there's breath in my body, Coppin will be number one in my will.